Welcome back to Prey. Let's go return the thing that the chef wanted me to return. You find it? You back? Come to window. Show me. You found something? Huh. Have to let you in. <laughs> Promised. Go round. The side entrance. Wait! A minute. <clears throat> You're safe now. The beasts, they cannot get in. But... Look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure glitter, it is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in the greenhouse, I think. With water, we can wait for rescue. No water? Huh. Do this favor, I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beast sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? Ew, so there's a cache of bodies in the freezer? Oh, I could just prepare this one. Huh? And you, and you, hmm. I already hear this name before. Where? You fix? Mm, smart one. Here, I open freezer now, like I promised. Lots of dead puppets and supplies. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Go in. Take whatever you want. Ah. Only leave puppets for me. Nowhere to dump my parts here. Dang. No eggs behind your eyes. <laughs> no black swimming. Hmm. Not a crumb. Bad bad food. Cast down, piece of junk. Uh. Are you awake, am you? Frozen dead, maybe? I take Puppet's toy screen. I see all the names in the list. Your name, too. Means you listen from now on. I know who you are. M. U. Daughter of William U. William. Transtar. Always playing with lies. Now, maybe I watch these beasts eat you. Like you try to feed me to them. Or, cold kills you first. Make you into a frozen puppet. Alright, now I'm trapped in the freezer. Cool. I've already read Cooking with Cauliflower. No, it's Abigail. She is dead. and spacewalk along the hull. Come to the fitness center and bang on the window by the pool. I should feel the vibration. And Abby, please don't take any chances, all right? I... be safe. Danielle might be alive? Okay, at least one of them might be alive, but still, Abigail. Um, I could burst that, obviously, and melt the ice blockage, but I don't want to crisp up Abigail's body. Needs... Oh! 
Okay. I don't think that's how ice works. I think ice melts. I don't think it explodes. that go? Hmm. Copious amounts of food, but do I really need any? I can't store it and I already have 64 food. I think I'm okay. Oh man, we're looking really good on supplies. Good on the glue gun. Oh, this is, oh, this is Skillet. I just realized that. That's what we read about in the logs. The, uh, customized one. With its odd voice. Plenty of this, plenty of that, plenty of that. I got plenty of every ammo, really. So I don't need any ammo. I really don't need narrow mods. I could make them. I mean, sure. Made some narrow mods and a few recycler charges. I had five before, so... Figured I might run out at some point. Some of these I can take because they stack. Oh. Order for Quentin. Four jelly deals, two Pacific sliders, and three Sisak Yunagi rolls. Oh. That's what that was. Hmm. Yes, eat. No. You're still alive. Good. What? Learn to make mines in Ukraine from recycling trust or chunk. Well, I'd to share knowledge with you. God, I hate that thing's voice. Really, I'm curious where they went. Okay, um... Fitness Center and Executive Suites. God, I love how the movement feels with all these upgrades. Let's go to the Fitness Center. I'm supposed to bang it, right? Morgan? If you're here, then... Abby didn't make it, did she? I don't... <gasps> Nothing more that I can do for you right now. But look, be careful. There's someone else in crew quarters pretending to be the cook. <gasps> His tracking bracelet's from Psychotronics, but the ID doesn't make any sense. He... I think he's the one that killed Abby. If you can, make sure he doesn't get off the station. I'll see what else I can do to help from out here. For as long as I can. Goodbye, Morgan. That would explain why they look nothing like the picture in their room. I thought that was very strange. I didn't mention it. I thought, I don't know, maybe it was a really old picture. <laughs> I don't know. Kill the imposter cook. I would love to. But where are they? Well done finding Chief Show. You've got what you need to get into deep storage. Does that quest give me a specific location? Cook style out there on Talos and is a threat to all the remaining crew. D 
Does it have a location? Doesn't look like it. I don't see any marker. Hmm. All right, let's go to the executive suites. The hell was that? Wow, doesn't this look familiar? Not the same. Not exactly the same, I think. If, I don't know, something about the lighting seems quite a bit different. I don't know if it's just because the lighting outside is different or the lights inside are tuned differently. I don't think the ceiling was like that though, was it? So I'm pretty sure it's a little bit different, but the configuration is exactly the same as it was at the very beginning of the game. So they tried to emulate Morgan's original room. Shotgun critical? Oh, I want that. Here we go. Shotgun critical. Uh, it's for the psychoscope, unfortunately. Resistance to psychoshock. Increased range. Uh, I'll get rid of the increased range. Excerpt from a book on emulated entities and synthetic intelligence by Carter Billingsley. The Supreme Court is set to weigh in on what could be a groundbreaking decision this term. Can an emulated entity be granted power of attorney? Over the last few decades, the public has become increasingly familiar with artificial helpers, from the personal assistants on their wrist watches to the smart home systems that remind you where you put your keys. But more recent advances in hybronic tech and the genius of connectomics the ability to map the myriad neuronal connections inside a person's brain, have thrust digital doppelgangers squarely into the legal arena. Recently, billionaire Rorick Wallace granted power of attorney, not to one of his many estranged family members, but to a robotic facsimile of himself named Ransom. Ransom emulates Mr. Wallace's own reasoning, interests, and to some extent, personality course, to the point where the two are nearly indistinguishable, at least over the phone. In person, Ransom's molded ceramic and carbon body, while beautiful, make his true nature unmistakable. Needless to say, Mr. Wallace's family is not amused, especially concerning Ransom's decision for how to execute Mr. Wallace's will. <laughs> Why do I always get all the food? I really don't need food. Huh. There isn't a thing I can open here like in the beginning apartment. I'm really glad it shows me that Lisa Larson is unconscious 75 meters away. And Caleb Hawthorne. And Bernard Griffith. You output October memory logs. Hmm? Calvino, colleague. Won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory. Work obsessed. Perfect medical record. No absences. New entry. Show. Danielle. Head of IT. 
Dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell and emotive operator hack. Dio Igwe. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about Tess. Loyal to Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. Michaela Ilyushin. Chief Engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when Tess began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition. Paraplexus. Convenient. But false. Severing ties seemed prudent to you. Less painful given the impending memory loss. Wait, so... Were they in a relationship together? Like romantic relationship or just friendship? Michaela Ilyushin, Chief Engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when Tess began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition. Paraplexus. Convenient. But false. Severing ties seemed prudent to you. Less painful given the impending memory loss. A little ambiguous, but I'm going to say they were in love. Paraplexus. Nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Sarah Elazar. Chief of security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of these logs are supposed to be. I guess to be able to remember after losing your memory from the narrow mods or something? I don't know. An audio output October. Does that mean that they're being read in October's voice? We haven't seen an October, right? We have January that keeps talking to us. We had December. I don't think we've seen an October, but they're all, of course, just different versions, I guess, of Morgan. I've already seen that. Seems to be it. Guest, guest suite. I saw a phantom dex down there. Alex, you sweet. Fucking shit. I heard it, but it still scared me. Christ. Ooh, something's coming out. Uh. That should do the trick in maybe five or ten seconds. Didn't kill it. That barely did anything. Alright, that's better. Rewards program. Neuromods and bonuses. 
At Transtar, we believe in rewarding employees who perform in exemplary, at exemplary levels. Through our recognition program, employees who are recommended for promotion or commendation are also eligible to receive neuromods from the list found in Appendix 4C. God, these incentives are subject to the limitations outlined in blah blah blah, may be revoked or removed at Transtar's discretion, especially in cases involving employee termination, discipl disciplinary action, or emergency protocols. And again, they completely declined to tell anybody that were using these neuromods that you lose your memory when you get them removed from the point where you got them installed. So, gets reset back to that point. So if you're terminated as an employee and you had neuromods installed you just go back to your memory from before you were an employee like Get this out of here. Ah, and as I've learned, as someone told me, you can tell whether you've read an email by whether that little exclamation mark is there. Even if you read it on the other side, I think it still will mark it as read. So this one I haven't... Well, actually, this one you don't know if you've read or not because it defaulted to it. I think this is new. Uh, Alex, your chief engineer, just sent a flunky down here to install upgraded door sensors. We took the sensors and turned the engineer away. Hudson disassembled one of them, and there was something inside. A listening device. What the hell is this about? Recently, she tried to request records from Neuromod Division. Volunteer records, Alex. I don't think I can overstate the seriousness of this situation. You need to get a handle on Ilushan. I cannot find any camera footage of Chief Ilushan leaving Morgan's quarters. It either does not exist, or it has been deleted. When questioned, Morgan said it was an engineering matter and does not want it filed with human resources. If you want to know more, I suggest you speak to Morgan directly. I will follow up with Chief Illusion as ordered. Kyla follow-up. In speaking to Chief Illusion, she admitted the visit concerned a medical matter and requested the visit not be misconstrued. Upon your orders, I reminded her again if there has been any change in her relations with Morgan Yu, she would need to notify HR. I consider the matter closed and would prefer such inquiries be left off my duty roster in the future. Starpenter Cycle Book 6 Dark Star Rising. You can read that if you want. the escape pod key. <laughs> There's just tons of boxes on the treadmill. What's gonna happen when I turn it on? What? I'm disappointed. I thought the boxes would go flying. Oh, there we go. Already read that. Should probably re enable the quests.
can also probably... Yeah, I can definitely get some stuff with some with my neuro mods. Not that there's much to get. Hmm. More health. Uh, better sneak attack. Let's do that. Also, double both the duration of the well-fed bonus and health gain by consuming food. Uh, yeah, okay. Don't mind the train in the background. Check out the guest suite. Just gonna clear it first. It's safe. Sales folder. Excerpt from a Transtar Sales and Marketing Internal Memo by Peter Laney. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I gathered, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but I think if we can get advertising to push some of the more appealing pros of narrow mods, we can shift public attention from that. Not too worried about the red eye stuff either. Mm, I feel like I've read this. This leaks it'll kill Neuromod sales. Yep, I read this. Maybe back in the sales department. Probably. Um. What? The hell? That must be a rendering error. Oh, cover it up. Alright, fixed. Alright, I guess that's it for the executive suites. I wonder how I get there. Yeah, it's for the other suites. 10 through 13. got a couple things to do. A couple quests that we got from in this area. So back in the Arboretum we have the initials carved into the tree quest. There should be something hidden under a rock near it. And then back at the Talos 1 lobby we can go to the trauma center and we now have a key card to enter some sort of pharmaceutical area in there. Oh, hey. New enemies. Kill the other one? I guess.
full tag phantom. Oh, I never got this open, did I? No, it's Sword Room A2. Nightmare, huh? The nightmare should be afraid of me. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide in here. Oh, is that another one? Oh yeah, this place has changed. I remember a little while ago, January said that they detected something, something changing. So it has. So we're looking for the marked, the marked tree. <laughs> hmm. They're all over the place. All the way back here, and I still don't have room for the pistol. Hmm? I found it? Where? Oh, it is this one. Under this rock. I hope, like, I'm gonna use a recycler charge on it to move it, right? I hope that doesn't destroy whatever's underneath it. Just in case, let's do a save. Oh, the body. Drew me too. That mystery was solved. Mystery was solved quite quickly.
<laughs> were they planning like a little romantic picnic? I really need to clear my inventory. Alright, so there's that done. Now I guess I want to go back to the lobby, but also there's new enemies around, so I feel like I should maybe take them out. Like go hunting around for new enemies? I feel like wherever there's new enemies, there might be something else new. I mean, there's also the escape pod, but that's... I mean, is that an end game? Is that like one of the endings? I can just go out on an escape pod and just... See ya. I think I have to manufacture a new growth formula every time I want to get more fruit grown. Hmm. I know somewhere... Ow. I know somewhere nearby there's somewhere where I can unload my inventory. I'm going to try to find it. I'll be right back. Alright, I dumped a bunch of stuff and also manufactured a bunch of shotgun rounds. And also made a couple neural mods. Now I'm entering the lobby. Well, uh, not quite the lobby, but the, the elevator area. There's probably going to be new enemies in here, I'm guessing. No, okay, but there's probably going to be new ones in the lobby, almost certainly. And there's all these damn booby traps all over the place. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's no enemies here. Let's get an old wave transmitter. Oh Christ, there's two. Alright, I'm gonna throw this enter quick time. Or combat focus. And then I guess laser beam it? weapon is so cool. Okay, uh, trauma center. I think it's this way. So many materials. Hello, are you here for an appointment? 
we probably yet again have enough neuro. <laughs> yep, we're back up to nine neuro mods. Still not getting leverage. I'm gonna go for more wrench damage. Oh, you know what? Let's go see how Michaela's doing. Hope the chef hasn't gotten to her or something. Privet Morgan. Ah, good. Morgan, hooked up some more supplies. Take what you need and don't be shy about using it. I don't think they will. Hmm, thank you. Morgan. You really need to organize your tools better. I would hate to see your living quarters. Simmons installed blank neuromods on you. That's why you can remember the previous day's test and escape. I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. Simmons installed blank neuromods? That's why I was able to remember? Good evening, Talos. Dinner is served in the cafeteria from 6 to 8 p.m. All right, let me take a look at my quests and see if there's any I want to do or any I even can do before going on to deep storage. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about the Escape Talos 1 at the Arboretum. I'm going to go try that. I'm going to go there and just, like, save right before doing it. Let's save before doing this. Do a quick save and a hard save. a shallow copy of you, and I know better than to abandon Talos 1. If you leave now, you're only delaying the inevitable. Where do you think the Typhon will go next? I could just initialize launch. It's so strange that they just seemingly just allow you to end the game completely prematurely. I mean, they have to know players would save and try it, right? Morgan, I don't understand how you got the launch key to that escape pod. Of all the ways the test could have changed you, this was the last one I expected. You just... quitting. What does that mean? We failed, this isn't the one, and that voice start over. Who was that? What is this whole thing a simulation to find the right Typhon Morgan thing? Going with the idea that I am actually a Typhon? All right, let's go to deep storage. Voice identification required. Please repeat the following words. Chameleon. Fortitude. Laconic. Mauve. Chameleon. 
Fortitude. Laconic. Ma. This would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has the plan for your arming key. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime. <laughs> Just writing down codes. was almost dead already. I saw before it was fighting with something. You ripped open a nine in my brain. I see a horizon filled with teeth. It is coming closer. Maybe it is what you see? I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. I will wait in you. You will come out. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Ivy's pass. Two passwords written down on this desk. Mean? Connie's a nice guy, and who can blame him for trying to get off corrective? And wanting a real desk instead of a card table. He sits out there all by himself with nothing to do. I feel sorry for him. Should try to be nicer to him. Every dark bit of data that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to face reality. Transtar Cobalt 410 Engineering Class Operator ready to deploy. Ah, oh, look at all these cables. I love it. Yeah, that increased wrench damage is really nice. It would have taken more than one hit. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, it's got turrets flying around it. Cool. Uh, Technopath. That's an EMP. What the? No. I see a broken radiation container there, too. Cool.
It's got the code for it already. Of course, I could just hack it too. Whoa. Quite a view. Lots of nasties in there. I tried this before, but you can't just cover that thing up, right? No. Is there any way to get rid of it? I mean, can you can you just blow it up? <laughs> that works, doesn't it? Just blow up nuclear material to make it go away. Someone's really relaxing here. Took their shoes off, their socks off, they got a pillow. Support vector machines. Is that support vector machines or is that three separate like columns? Support and vector and machines. Radiation. How do I explore this area if I'm just gonna get radiation sickness? And again, I do have radiation pills that I've never used. Yeah, I'll just get infected, it'll be fine. I don't think infected's the right term when it comes to radiation. It's not a virus. utility on the computer, it could potentially be something to open the door, right? I could try to shoot it with the Hunter Bolt Caster. Should I try that again? Ah, but they got the radiation here. It's gonna be so hard to angle for a shot. And dealing with radiation at the same time. Nah, I don't think it would happen. So yeah, so I guess the only thing you can do with radiation is just, if you have a leverage, you can pick it up and move it somewhere else. Oh. Wait, can I get through here? Oh, you can. <laughs> nice. Repository access control. Central repository is a zero gravity environment that is maintained at one degree Celsius. Please remember to follow all safety protocols listed in the central repository safety handbook. Open it up. It's 
so that is definitely where I need to go for the main quest, right? So, oh, hey. Got him. So that's where I need to go for the main quest, then what's in the data vaults? What quest is this for? I'm assuming maybe that's Michaela's father? It says volunteer archive terminal. Yeah, I feel like that'd be in the data vaults. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go deeper into the data vaults.